We begin with a garbage truck on fire, sparking concerns. I met with officials who are urging the public to stop throwing hazardous items in the trash. This was the site Wednesday afternoon in the Mololani community of Kaneohe Marine Corps Base, Hawaii. The general manager of West Oahu Aggregate Refuse Division says the truck driver just finished servicing one of the sites when he smelled smoke. He got out of the truck and he, he saw the, uh, the load in the back of the truck on fire and immediately reported it to the, the contact of base fire department who responded. Tangan says the driver followed protocol and found a clear open area to discharge the load to prevent the situation from escalating. And, you know, a truck has fuel in it and everything, so it'll just be a, a really bad, a bad situation if the truck itself caught on fire. He says they've had at least four other garbage fires in the last 12 months. The deputy director for environmental services that handles the trash for the city says they see these kinds of fires too. It happens once every month or once every two months. We get um, notification from our, our one of our drivers that they have a they have a, a load that's that's smoking and it's on, on fire. How dangerous is this? It can be quite dangerous. There have been a number of garbage truck fires that have happened on major roadways, resulting in serious situations. Whenever this happens, the fire department is called to extinguish the fire. The area is cleared of the debris and the water is reclaimed to ensure toxic chemicals are not washed into storm drains. O'Keefe says people need to be mindful of what they throw in the trash. There are certain items that are not allowed. Helium, propane and oxygen tanks, hazardous chemicals, lead and aluminum paints, fluorescent lights, cell phones and other electronics. He said motor and other oils can be discarded, but first should be absorbed with rags or towels and put in a container. O'Keefe and Tangon tell me one of the things they're having the most problems with are lithium ion batteries. They're found in cell phones, tablets, and that's what most of our rechargeable batteries are. Some lithium ion batteries are also embedded in popular items like e-bikes and scooters. In the process of compacting the trash, the lithium, any lithium ion batteries that are contained in the trash, they'll break apart. And then there's a chemical reaction that causes it to, to flare up. Charcoal from barbecues is another thing he says starts a lot of fires. People think the coals are out, but they're not. For regular um, lithium ion batteries, the types that aren't embedded, like the power tools and the cell phones, um, folks can take them to, right now, can take them to any one of the seven, the city's seven convenience centers or our, our two transfer stations and drop them off there for free, no charge. And O'Keefe says starting in July, the city will accept items like scooters and e-bikes with embedded lithium-ion batteries at their household hazardous waste drop-off days. You can also log on to khom2.com for more information about hazardous waste disposal.